Hi, welcome to the lecture on installing Apache Kylin in the Cloudera Quickstart VM. The Cloudera Quickstart VM is a single node sandbox for the Cloudera distribution for Hadoop, popularly called CDH. It's, a, it's supposed to be a testing and um, learning environment where you can um, basically see how a fully configured CDH cluster can work. So in essence, whatever you develop on the CDH will run in a fully deployed CDH cluster. So we have uh, many times used Cloudera Quickstat VM for, for training, for practice, and in this case, we're gonna use it to run a Kylin lab. So let's get started. First of all, if you don't have the Cloudera distribution for Hadoop Sandbox, you need to go to the Cloudera website, go to cloudera.com slash downloads and uh, download one of the quick start flavors that comes either as a VM or a Docker image, right? So you select the platform where, which could be Oracle, VirtualBox, VMware, KVM and Docker. In this lecture, I am going to use the Oracle VirtualBox. So I will select VirtualBox, click get it now and to download it. I have downloaded it already and I've already imported it to my Oracle VirtualBox manager. So I have the Cloudera Quickstart VM 5.12.0. Now let's just make sure that we have enough resources for the VM to be able to run all the processes that we need to, imp to implement Kylin on this VM. So first and foremost, I just made sure I dedicated 11 gig of RAM for the VM and uh, four processors for that purpose. Also, I want to make sure um, there's port forwarding supported for the Kylin default port, which is 7070. If there are any other invalid settings, you want to take care of that. Good. I'd say okay. So I will go on right now to start the VM. Starting the VM for the first time could take between uh, three to four minutes. So I'm going to pause this video and return when the VM is fully started. So our VM is started. We are now going to perform some other uh, checks and configuration to make sure that all the uh, Kylin dependent services are well started for us to begin implementing. Uh, the Kylin installation. So, to get Cloudera, uh, the Cloudera Manager started, which is the um, the management feature in the Cloudera Quickstart VM to manage the entire cluster, you will click on uh, Launch Cloudera Express. So the Cloudera Manager is up. Uh, you can click on Cloudera Manager um, on the menu of the browser here, or you just say Cloudera Manager 7180. So we're going to log into Cloudera using the credentials you see right here. The username is Cloudera, and the password is Cloudera. So when we log into Cloudera Manager, we would see the list of all the services that are currently available. Uh, one thing notably not here is Kafka, but we're gonna proceed to do this installation even without Kafka. So you can see the services are not started, so we're gonna take an exercise right now to start the services. Um, clicking on this uh, button right here and it says start. So we're gonna do that for Z Zookeeper, HDFS, Yarn, Hive and HBase in that order. Okay, all the services we need are now started. So we'll go to the Kylin website and we will download um, Apache Kylin 2.3.1 and we'll install it given that all these dependencies we need are fully up and running. Go to the website kylin.apache.org download uh, this is the latest version we'll download the binary for the CDH 5.7 and above
So the Apache Kalin binary has been downloaded. Uh, now we're going to open the terminal and complete the rest of the installation process. So we'll go to the download folder and there we'll find our newly downloaded Kylin binary for this purpose. So the first thing we'll do is um, extract the archive. Then we will copy uh, the extracted archive to um, a location that we will term our Kylin home. Um, to do this, I will use the sudo, uh, the sudo command because Cloudera, which is the current user, is not an admin user. So move. So that copies it across. The location will now be binary. So we'll copy this and this will be our Kylin home. So having done this, we will now go and edit the batch underscore profile file to add this new um, environmental variable. So let's save this file and put it in effect by typing source batch profile. So we have the Kylin executables in our path environmental variable. And we want to do the first thing given that all the requirements, all the required services except Kafka are up and running, we will um, use the check environment utility to confirm that everything is ripe for us to start Kafka. It turns out that it's not because um, the process needs to create a slash Kylin directory in HDFS root uh, but the current user Cloudera doesn't have the permission to do that so what we're going to do is we are going to create it ourselves hdfs H hdfs um, make directory slash kylin so the hdfs user that's a user account for administering the cluster has created that folder and also it's important that that user gives permission to every other user in this case do not secure but we agree this is our um, learning environment it's a sandbox for that purpose um, in a real production scenario the administrators of the cluster will give the right ACL rule to the batch user that will run the Kylin process but for now we just give a 777 permission to cloud there to everybody on that folder so having done this let's do the check again all things look good so it's all good now we can start Kylin let's begin Kylin so Apache Kylin is started we can go to the browser now whether it's Inside the VM or on the host machine, we can go to the browser, type 7070 slash Kylin, and there we have it. We have Kylin up and running. Like I said, let's go to the browser. We can do the same right here, localhost 7070 Kylin, and that's it. We have successfully set up Apache Kylin in Cloudera quick start VM sandbox. So in the next lecture, we're going to try set up Apache Kylin in a custom environment. Now the idea is we have used CDH version. You have seen us also use the Hot and Walk HDP VM sandbox. Um, but what if it's a different um, cluster deployment altogether? We are going to likely do more configuration. So we need to know more about the configuration files, what should be where. What we downloaded was almost done for us because it was a binary for that uh, distribution of Hadoop. But in this case, we're going to do it in a separate cluster to give us insight into what we need to look out for if we're using one of the environments that we have not yet talked about. See you in the next lecture.